Welcome back everyone and this is Andy over here with another review for motorcycle gears. Now if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and like this video if you like content such as this doing some more motorcycle reviews and and all other types of reviews along with it. Stay tuned. Well, let's get right into it. So I've been owning a Shoei RF 1400 for about, about a year now and I tell you this is one of the best helmets I ever tried on. This is a uh, very light, very sturdy and even after a year of wearing this on my head uh, it's still it's still a little bit snug on me which is great. Um, I had the experience with a Scorpion uh, I forget the brand names but I'll probably put that down in the down in the description or even right in here on this uh, video and also had an Icon Air Flight. Uh, both helmets were great but both helmets were also a little bit heavy and I can feel the difference between this one and those two. With the other two I can feel the wind bobbing around my head all the time and it was kind of interesting but and they're cool looking as well especially the uh, Icon. I love the design of the Icon. I love that style. I love the style of the Icon Air Flight. I mean it was a great helmet where you know where the shield is just covering the whole face and it's just it's just a cool look. It's like a futuristic you know cyberpunk type of look kind of deal. The only problem was that that kind of helmet was more for people with a narrow shape head. Now my head my head shape is more like an egg or a little bit more intermediate type so that's why I found that the Shoei was the best one for me. Um, after trying it on for a whole year, I can say for a fact that this is one of the best helmets I ever had. And plus, now I'm able to put all my equipment here, like my Cena, and of course chin mount uh, has a has a good mount for it, so you can put your GoPro in there. So if you want to start recording and uh, staying safe on, out in the street with these uh, with this kind of helmet staying out there while you're riding make sure you pick up a show. So in my previous videos you know I always had some uh, issues putting on this helmet uh, before you know I'm pretty sure all of us experience it one way or another and most of us have experienced it one way or another as soon as you want to put on the helmet right once you put on this helmet your ears will always get caught and that's that's the one thing it was very hard uh, to get used to for this one. But, uh, and I know, you know, you start seeing some movies, some videos out there and all that. Some people just, bam, put on the helmet. But now, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I'm not sponsored by Shoei or any products that I'm about to show you today. Uh, these are just products that I try uh, to make my riding life a little bit easier. So, this product right here is a you know it's a good this little thing this little little cap right here is pretty good you slip it on your head for me I always put it over my ears so my ears can stay here and keep my head cool especially for the summertime and it is summertime right now then that ear problem that normally you have like right here being caught can not be caught down more so if you want to start putting on your helmet like the movies movie stars do you can do that now it doesn't catch your ear and it's a little comfortable coming in and like I say it'll keep your head cool because that's what it's meant to do that's why it's a nice baseline so it's it's a pretty good deal right now and of course taking it off is still a little bit uh, fun to do when I do that but what can you do uh, I see. I, I did see some comments down below. Some people suggest change the padding to like some uh, a little bit bigger padding or a little bit uh, smaller padding, so I can have a bigger, uh, better fit and all that. But you know, I noticed with these uh, original paddings on this helmet, it's pretty good uh, for me. And I, feel, I like the snugness. I love the tightness. Um, I like that secure feeling on my head, and it makes the helmet feel a lot lighter, especially when it feels like. It's attached to your head. It's like one with your head. That's the best part. You're one with the helmet. So, 
overall, I love this helmet. I find no problems with it. Um, I do want to try to learn how to use a different microphone so I can record my voice while I'm doing these ride-alongs so that all y'all could enjoy those ride-alongs with me as I talk about my new bike, the new ZX-10, which is a phenomenal bike. I love that bike. I love how quick it goes. The ergonomics is not as good as the Ninja 1000 SX, of course. It's a sport bike, but it is one of the most comfortable sport bike I experienced. I did sit, I did sat on a on R1 and the Suzuki, uh, the the Jigsaw 1000s and stuff. It it and it did feel pretty cramped, even though I was only sitting down in the dealership, little parking or inside the dealership. But as soon as I sat on the ZX10, it's a nice, a little bit wider, uh, longer type of uh, chassis. So I felt like I have a better reach, more room and it was it felt pretty good as a commuter bike and I do use that bike to go uh, back and forth to work and yeah I, I mean I'm blown away by the bike and I love the color of it I know some might not like the Kawasaki green but I like to stand out I like people to see me and it does make me happy and that's all it comes down to at the very end if your motorcycle makes you happy if your motorcycle helmet makes you happy that's all it counts. And if you have any questions about the the Showy RF 1400, you know where where I got the uh, where I got the lid. Right here, I got the blue. I got the blue shield. If you have any questions about this helmet, leave it down in the comments below. Or you know, um, or if you have any suggestions on other reviews such as the shield uh, where I got, and just to let you guys know, this is not Showy Shield. This is a shield that I found on Amazon, which come turned out to be great. So if you want to know about that, leave a leave a comment down below. And if you like reviews like this and maybe some suggestions and everything, remember all these advices are from my experience. I'm not an expert at everything. I'm still a beginner in a lot of stuff. But if you want to know, if you want to know from my experience, through my view of a lot of things. You know, just leave that like button down there and let me know. Hey, hey, we appreciate your advice. We appreciate your opinion on things. And subscribe to help support this channel as I'm trying to get this channel uh, up the ranks. You know, but hey, if you subscribe, hit that like button. Give me that motivation so I can make this channel bigger. And leave some suggestions for me if you want to see other types of reviews, other types of videos, whether it could be anime, workout or even motorcycle reviews, or even having a nice ride along with each other. So let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.